This is Bass's favorite fig. I've had it growing for two seasons now. It uh, is about two and a half feet of, of root system at this point, and the rest is actual tree. Looks like, looks like about three and a half feet of tree. So typically when you've had a tree in a seven gallon pot for two years, you're gonna have more roots than this. So the roots fortunately weren't circling too bad, which made, it's gonna make it really easy to up pot. I'll take it down to, oh, probably right in, right in this area someplace is where I'll cut it, maybe like right there. And I'll just cut the remaining roots off and uh, I'll pot it from seven to 15. One of the things you can see, even if you look at the base here, you can see a little bit of green. It hasn't totally, totally lignified. If you look up above, that's partially lignified as well. The good news is it's made it through a winter with no tip damage and it's been unprotected in Oregon. So that's a good sign. I'm hoping this is the year as I up pot it to 15 that it really starts to grow. First year, it was tiny, and I gave it a head start in the greenhouse in year two, and it started to come around. So I think now, this year, when it gets into 15 gallon, it should kick in gear and start growing. But I think this is part of the reason why you see the cuttings are very expensive. Number one, it's difficult to root, and it's a slow grow in the beginning, and we don't really know at this point if how it's going to be for a grower long term. I'm guessing this year it's going to kick in. This is Bass's favorite fig. Thanks.